Gray beard. Gray beard. Gray beard. You know, sound is mechanical energy. And as we grow older, we don't hear as well as we used to. Uh, a tuning fork, for instance, vibrates the air. The air molecules strike our eardrums and we hear sound. You can't see those waves, but you can see the effect of them. Or you can hear the effect of them. For instance, if I take this tuning fork and touch it to a little water, you might have seen that water move. We'll do that again. You see how the water vibrates? It's all the same uh, way when mechanical energy hits your ear. It's almost as if the plastic bowl with a piece of saran wrap was an illustration of the ear. This would be the ear that would have uh, uh, the ear drum uh, over the sound canal. And so when air vibrating molecules hit the eardrum, then our nerve, auditory nerve, sends that signal to the brain. We hear it as a sound. Uh, and again, for instance, you can't see the sound, but you can see the effect of it. I take some salt, put that salt on this piece of saran wrap, again, just like the tympanic membrane. I take an empty can and a spoon, and I'm going to make some sound. And you see how the molecules strike the membrane and cause the salt crystals to bounce up and down. That's exactly what happens when sound waves strike our eardrum.